why it's a bad thing if your partner gets turned on by your smorgasborganism. <laughs> Because the female orgasm has become about masculinity achievement. Unlocked. <laughs> Pa-ching! Badge on the screen. <laughs> but and they like, want to know why they're alone. We've you only, know? We've they want to know why this shit is happening. Why? Where are all the good men at? Where why don't the they men? approach me no more? Because you're fucking space aliens. Yes. That's why. Because I don't want to fuck a space alien. I want a human woman, and I can't <laughs> find one. No. And, oh. and listen, I mean... Obviously, she got the 10 dick. Yeah. He fucked up. He shouldn't have gave her the 10 dick. Give her the 10 dick. Give her a reason to complain about it. Yeah. It's not every day that you're faced with the downside of an orgasm. But here we are. <laughs> yep. The like female you orgasm. You about anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's some women out there who can't have orgasms. Yeah, they're frigid bitches. No. Or they, you know, they had like eating disorders or they Could started be. having sex too young. They didn't let their biology come to its fruition fully before they started pounding at it with something that needs D cell batteries and a fucking jumper cable hookup. <laughs> well, I dated a wo- I dated a woman like after my divorce for like six months and she finally said, Yeah, I've never had an orgasm before in my life. And I'm like, This relationship is over. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's because you were at the age of reason. When you hear that as a young man, you're like, challenge accepted. <laughs> don't take the bait, gentlemen, and don't do that challenge. All right? One, because it's probably a lie. And two, because I mean, even a young heart can only take so much. Yeah, this isn't the one chip challenge where you can wash your mouth out and it only burn for an hour or two. Uh, yeah, you can fuck your whole life up getting uh, hooked into a woman like that. It burns for eighteen or twenty-one years or two. It's, yeah, it's bad. Do, I, do men just not understand? And I think a lot of them don't. That that is a common trope. It's a it's a lie. It's, it's a something that's designed to get them to work harder. It's just like I don't normally do this. <laughs> I've never done this before. Sure, baby. Yeah. Sure, we, we totally believe you. I've never done this. Those are the two most common lies women say. Yeah, I've never done this, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> and it's your baby. It's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when, when women say that oh men are the biggest God. liars, I just defer them to Chris Rock. You know, because he always says when men, when men lie, we say, I was at Steve's house. When women lie, it's your baby. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. that dude's a, a comic genius, man. Yep. Also, oh, Journal of Sex Research examined men's reactions to making their partner, oh, specifically the pleasure they derive from it. Perhaps there's no surprise here, but it's what the study's researchers, Sarah Chadwick and Sari Van Anders, referred to as a masculinity achievement. Gee, you can almost tell from the names of these researchers that they went into this with an angle. Oh. In short, the study found that the majority of its 810 participants felt more masculine and had higher self-esteem when they managed than when they imagined a woman orgasming during sex with them. Uh, these results well, suggested, yeah. you well, know, it, wanting it, to it, satisfy your fucking partner it, and, and you be want- a part of their intimate journey. Nah, 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 nah. It's just your toxic masculinity. Fuck that bitch. Come, come. <laughs> so let me get this straight. We make you come. It's bad because it's a masculinity achievement at that point because we feel like we actually did something for you. Uh, we don't make you come. We're not a real man. Micro penis. You can't get a woman off. Blah blah blah. So we literally can't win. Energy, but even yeah. if you do manage to, you know, make him do the O face, and the the dude's all proud of himself because he thinks, "Well, I'm going to keep this girl around because I can make her come." Ooh. No, 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 no. no, no. She don't care. No, she's still. Monkey neck and looking for the next penis to swing to. Mm. Trust me. <laughs> Got that head on a swivel like a security camera looking for a bigger wallet That's and exactly, a penis to match. That is exactly what they do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know gosh. why people just can't be a little more honest about what they are now today. Yeah. Um, women are they're just not interested in pairing up with somebody for life. They're not interested in the commitment. They want what they want. Um, you can't talk to them in any other terms than their terms. Mm-hmm. Y- you can't do anything in life that benefits you because somehow or another it means that they got cheated. 
Yep. I just wish that people would be more honest with who and what they are. And you're not seeing any honesty really from anybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you 100%. And when you look at these direct quotes from the study, you can't really argue with it. These results suggest that women's orgasms function as a masculinity achievement for men, but there's a worrying side to this conclusion. One reason is that it might pressure some heterosexual men to feel like they have to give women orgasms, as if orgasm is something men pulled out of a hat and presented to women. This ties into cultural ideas of women as passive recipients of whatever men give them. Not only that, but it means that a woman's orgasm ceases to be about her enjoyment. Wow. What? What? How does that even make sense? It doesn't. Well, I mean, it does if you're a fully indoctrinated Marxist commie cocksucker. I will agree you with know, that. Because Man. everything is about them. Wow. Everything is about them. Waking up in the morning and taking that first <gasps> deep draw. That's, it's about them. Uh-huh. Yep. It's about them. And I'll be around make the same because face. if he's breathing too, he's sucking off your life energy, and that's toxic masculinity. Yeah. yeah. He's stealing your wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. How does anyone even climb aboard this insanity train and, and let alone ride it along the tracks and look at and think of like, yeah, this is where I want to be going. Look at all the human it's, feces on the sidewalks and, they don't and the breadlines. They don't have any mental resiliency. I, just, <laughs> I, I think it's, I'll go a step, for, well, a couple of steps farther than that. I, I don't necessarily think it's about their resiliency. It's about enabling defective hypotheses and theories on what life is. And yeah. those hypotheses and theories are instilled in them in grade school, Yeah, you see. And then they travel down that road through their 12 years. Then they might get their four years of college. And every one of these teachers along the way, every one of them have failed these kids. Correct. Yep. Every one of them. It's it, They fail yeah. up and then they get spit out into life. And then life is like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then yeah. they're like, you're a misogynist. You don't realize you're yeah. a misogynist, but you're a misogynist. Yeah, internalized yeah, totally. misogyny. I guess. We have real problems with the education system. And more than that, if you set that aside, we have real problems with people out here that see it and say nothing and do nothing. Mm -hmm. That's starting to change now. Have you seen like, yeah. Project Veritas? And like, uh, well, three yeah, or four yeah. of these hidden camera things, wow. There are people yeah. pushing back on it uh, for sure. That's that's yeah. certain in every sphere. And we need to see more of that. back on it. But because as far as flipping it, turning both. it over, that's that's we're a long yeah. ways away from that. Well, because what you pointed out was really interesting. I'm just going to expand on that a little bit. The idea, you know, that people are just sitting back and not doing anything, and the reason why is because they see what happens, or at least they saw what used to happen to the people who spoke up. Mm -hmm. right. They'd get dogpiled, they'd get crucified, you'd get character assassinated in the public square. And right. then people saw that and like, well, I don't want that to happen to me. So they stepped back. And then the media was allowed to extrapolate people's silence as consensus. Yep. Sure. And it's all horse shit. Sure. Because the silent majority is very real. Unfortunately, we're still just people who want to be left alone for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. I'm Agreed. sorry, but, but that's, uh, those those days are going to be coming to an end. Yeah, you, you uh, can't they're, wait they're for over. the burglar to break into your house to defend it. Sometimes, if you see them coming and they're on your lawn, hey, it's still your property. Rack the 12 gauge and call it a day. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com/slash/donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.